What is up, beautiful people? Episode number nine. No, this is not episode number no, nine. No, this is number 11. This is 11, 11. baby. This is 11. Um, welcome to episode number 11 of Ignite Your Purpose. This is a collaboration between myself and my main man, Mr. Healthy Funky Free, John Barrett. And as always, our mission is to educate engage and encourage you us the world this planet um towards a better fulfillment and life of empowerment and purposefulness and happiness and just all the all the isms that are good just positivity baby so i thank you i love you and myself we're here to rock it today we're going to drop some serious stumping questions on each other you see this worried face that's right and and I'm sure, and this is what we're saying, people. This is, this is off the top. This is, in the hip-hop world, we call it a cypher, a freestyle. This isn't scripted. This is just our knowledge, our lifestyle, what we've done um, over years of repetitiveness that's become ritual and routine, and we're just dropping our knowledge. So it's kind of fun to be stumped. You know, it's kind of, kind of good to make the brain think outside the box. So, Mr. John, my question to you is, what would your younger self say to you today? Thanks. <laughs> do, I get, do I get to phone a friend? Um, no, I haven't got any friends. I, don't th um, I think you're out of options, brother. You, gotta just, you just got to ask your inner demons what's going on. I think my younger self would say... Not to be, God, this might get some, might, no crying, I promise, no crying. Would probably say not to be so hard on my mum. I did not expect that. Wow. We, uh, we love my mum, but just being completely open, it's, it's, it's it's hard work. Um, mum's mum's had a, she had a, she had a great life at times, but a tough life at times. Lost her husband with two young kids. Brought them to the Isle of Man. Brought them up, and I think she uh, she went without herself to ensure that that we had things when we all basically had had, had nothing. Um, and I give maybe because. I went, to, I went to military boarding school at 13, 14, joined the army at 16. I've not had a, I've not had that relationship with, with family that lots of people would normally have. My, my, my family has been, has been the military and my friends, and you all may or may not know that you don't give a lot of space in the military and you, uh, you have to, you have to stop things short before they get out of hand. You don't take any shit. You don't take any bullshit. There's no excuses. Job needs doing. Shit, we haven't got the men. Doesn't matter. We haven't got the tools. Doesn't matter. We haven't got the logistics. Doesn't matter. Get the job done. Um, and and I think that when I left, I, I I brought that harshness out. And so whereas I may get, um, I may get sort of dialogue from from mum, and I kind of. I'm very impatient. I don't listen as much as I should do. I'm not as empathetic as I should do. And um, because I appreciate that she won't change, I, I have had to. Um, and I think you could always be more patient, to be honest. And I'm not patient enough. Um, and I'm not, I'm not sure if I've answered the question there. You know, I, I think my, young, I, my younger self would say to me, cut your mum some more slack, give her some more support. Um, she probably wants to help, but she's as she's been a survivor, it's probably very difficult for her to ask for help. So there we go. That's the answer. I I think you I would comment. I I think I would have to say, to be honest, for each of us listening to what you just said, I think that would resonate with each and every one of us in certain ways, whether it's your mother, your father, your grandma, grandpa, sister, brother, lover. I mean the, the whole time you're talking, I was just like, I agree. There's so many things I could have, you know, 
done done differently and i'm guaranteeing the listeners are going to think the exact same thing that was deep that was deep brother <clears throat> um if i would answer the same thing i won't go deep into detail but i would say for my younger self i, I would not give my power away especially coming up um how i did um you know those feelings of abandonment at such a young age i was ashamed i felt abandoned and i just felt i felt i was alone in a, in the world um and i felt once i got into the music scene that um i always took because i didn't really have parents i did but i didn't at certain ages i i took what they said as the gospel so i think i gave my power away way too much and i also think i was way too judgmental so yeah i think i, I think on this and this is what, why you and i may may gel so well is uh, I, I lost my father when i was two he was murdered when, when i was two um and I've always had that sense of abandonment. And I know he didn't abandon me and I, w I wasn't abandoned, but I've, I've carried that for years. And it's only in the last, uh, sort of the, the recent years of my life where I've kind of developed self-awareness and also understood that he didn't abandon me, he did love me. And actually that has happened now. And all I can do is, is, is to move forward from now, not living in the past of I haven't, I shouldn't, if I'd have had this, or have the other you know it's um it, it's a tough one tough one um should we roll to the next question please do I'll, I'll i'll go on the chopping block now yeah yeah pin your ears back fella um be careful what you wish for here we go <laughs> how do you or how would you define happiness i know that's different for for everybody's got a different definition a different a different different definition how would you define happiness for you right now? Wow. Wow. First off, I would say I bet you that that definition could change moment to moment, day to day. Um, but as I age, I would have, let me do this. Let me give you a past and present. Ten years ago, I would have thought happiness meant that I had 15 platinum plaques, um, I was a tri-billionaire, and I had 100,000 women who wanted me. That would have, that's honestly what I would have defined happiness. That, yep. Those were all external, everything external. That was 10 years ago. On this journey now, I've understand, I understand that everything is actually internal. And now I would define happiness for myself currently as being comfortable in my own skin being confident with who i am yeah. um and just doing the best i can and understanding that we are human you're going to stumble you're going to fumble there is no mendoza line there is no certain bar that you have to be you just you just have to try your best and forget the rest i mean i think i think i think that's where i'd leave what i define happiness as currently it might change sure. tomorrow but <laughs> um should I answer that question? I, I won't answer that question because I don't, I don't look at happiness. I look at contentment. Am I content with my life right now? Because happiness is so subjective. It, it can be taken away in, in a flash with a comment, with a, with a look. Um, so I, 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 I look at contentment personally. But I think if you, if you... And this also depends who you're asking this question. If you ask somebody what, what makes them happy, then each person could come up with a list of two or three things, possibly some more, some less. But if you ask those same people to come up with a list of things that make them unhappy, the <laughs> list would be much, much longer. And although we all focus on trying to be happier, not less unhappy, potentially if we focused some time on those things that, that piss us off, the things that make us unhappy and think, right, how can I tick that off the list? And if you tick them off one after another, after another, and they're quite often just trivial little things, yep. you by default make yourself happier or you put yourself in a better place or you're more content. So uh, there we go for that one. So over to you. I will ask you, um, one of two things. Is there one book that 
you picked up and changed your life or is there a book you would recommend um, to let's say the viewers or somebody who's like, you know what, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I would like to da 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 change, get more knowledge. Da, you know what I mean? Is there a book you'd recommend or is there a book that you picked up five, 15, 20 years ago and went, holy shit, there is a bigger, better world out there. Um, only because my memory's terrible for, for names. I could go and get a book off the shelf uh, in, in, this, in the study, but there's a book called Finding Ultra by a, a chap called Rich Roll, who is a, he, he has a podcast there, but he was a lawyer, successful, but incredibly unwell, almost had a heart attack. And it's his journey from fat, sick, overweight, depressed, alcoholic lawyer to ultra endurance sports person and podcaster doing what he loves to do every day. Uh, and, and that book called Finding Ultra is, is, is pretty awesome. Um, easy to read, short, you can read it in a couple of days. Um, and then he's very easy to find for, I, I listen to his podcast every week. He, just, he interviews people like Max and I, people who are just normal, people who are superstars, but people who have been there, gone there, found their passion, and they're wanting to share the knowledge and be that with health, wealth, love, happiness, spirituality, you name it. So there we go. That's the book. Max, you? You mentioned Paul Check's book a couple of days ago, or is I that did. one? Um, I did. I, I, I'm, re I'm currently reading this book. Sorry, sorry for showing you my six pack abs there. Um, this is the book. Um, I don't know if it's going to flip around when people are reading it, but uh, it's called How to Eat, Move and Be Healthy. It is, now I understand I am, I, are you still there? It says my internet is unstable. Interesting. Um, I am somewhat of a intermediate to seasoned vet when it comes to reading and, and self-awareness. So that book, though, I think if you're a beginner all the way up to novice to expert, it's so easy. There's tests every so many pages on just you being self-aware of, hey, when you eat apples, how do you feel? Or there's just so many questions that it, it, it really did open my mind to um, a whole other way of, of seeing things. And there's also a book I'm currently reading called The Medical Medium. And this book is on a next level of spirituality. So um, if, you, if you were open to different realms, different energies, different, um, I don't even know how to say the word. We'll just say different realms. Uh, it would be a book I would suggest. It's deep. It's very deep and uh, very interesting. Whether or not I believe everything that's in it, I don't know. But it is interesting. <laughs> and it opens up your mind. That's all I can ask from a book. If there's something that goes, wow, I never thought of it like that or interesting. Why would they look at it like that and why don't I look at it like If it can make me think, which then opens up my mind to thinking better and learning more, I'm all for it. And asking more questions. Totally. Um, I was about to grab out another book now, but maybe one, uh, on, on one episode we'll just, we'll just have a pile of books and we'll do a quick book review, take it in turns, um, and then there's a, there's a whole realm of books that, that people can – look up, read, drop, something might take their interest. And we can do that with the documentaries that we've, um, we've watched or particular podcasts. And they, and they could flip it around and, and give us some suggestions too. Hey, we read this book. Check it out. What do you think? You know? yeah. yeah, what books have you read that we could read? Totally. So, uh, and on that, my friend, we are out of time already. <laughs> Holy shit. A couple questions deep. Oh, we'll continue this one for sure then because uh, – it's a good one. It's a deep one. Um, okay, beautiful people, drop the comments. Give us your feedback. Show us the love, whatever you got to do. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys kick some ass. I hope you hug the world and love the world. Tell the ones you love that you love them. Mr. John B., what you got to say? And I am out. <laughs> love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.